Doxycurium chloride, formerly recognized as BW938U80 or BWA938U, is a neuromuscular blocking drug or skeletal muscle relaxant in the category of non-depolarizing neuromuscular blocking drugs, used adjunctively in anesthesia to provide skeletal muscle relaxation during surgery or mechanical ventilation. Unlike a number of other related skeletal muscle relaxants, it is rarely used adjunctively to facilitate endotracheal intubation. Chemistry Doxycurium is a symmetrical molecule because it is a dester of succinic acid. The pharmacological action of doxycurium is a function of its competitive antagonism to acetylcholine receptors of the nicotinic type. The drug is marketed worldwide under the trade name of Neuromax, and it is classified as a long-duration non-depolarizing neuromuscular blocking agent in a class of compounds commonly and most erroneously referred to as benzylisoquinolins, when, in fact, it is a bisbenzyl tetrahydroisoquinolinium agent. The pharmaceutical preparation comprises the three trans-trans isomers a mesostructure R, SS, R-doxycurium and an enantiomeric pair R, SR, S-doxycurium and S, RS, R-doxycurium. Availability Doxycurium is available worldwide although, for a number of years, its use has not been popular because of considerably long duration of action. Its decline from clinical use was even further hastened when the sister molecule, mivacurium chloride, was introduced into the clinic very shortly after doxycurium's debut. The only perceived advantage of doxycurium over that of mivacurium is its superior cardiovascular profile, with particular reference to the lack of histamine release when administered as a rapid bolus dose. History Doxycurium represents the second generation of tetrahydroisoquinolinium neuromuscular blocking drugs in a long lineage of nicotinic acetylcholine receptor antagonists synthesized by Mary M. Jackson and James C. Wissowady, Ph.D., both chemists within the Chemical Development Laboratories at Burroughs Wellcome Co., Research Triangle Park, N.C., in collaboration with John J. Savarese, M.D., who at the time was an anesthesiologist in the Department of Anesthesia, Harvard Medical School at the Massachusetts Massachusetts General Hospital, Boston, MA. Specifically, doxycurium was first synthesized in 1980. Early structure activity studies had confirmed that the bulky nature of the benzylisoquinolinium entity provided a non-depolarizing mechanism of action. Partial saturation of the benzylisoquinolin ring to the tetrahydroisoquinolin ring provided an even further increase in potency of the molecules without detrimental effects to other pharmacological properties. This key finding led to the rapid adoption of the tetrahydroisoquinolinium structures as a standard building block, along with a one benzyl attachment, and it is the primary reason why the continued unwarranted reference to benzylisoquinolinium is a complete misnomer for all clinically introduced and currently used neuromuscular blocking agents in this class because they are all, in fact, tetrahydroisoquinolin derivatives. By definition, therefore, there has never been, in the history of clinical anesthetic practice, the use of a benzylisoquinolin neuromuscular blocking agent. The heritages of doxycurium and mivacurium hark back to the synthesis of numerous compounds following structure-activity relationships that drove researchers to find the ideal replacement for succinylcholine succimethonium. Both doxycurium and mivacurium are descendants of early vigorous attempts to synthesize potent non-depolarizing agents with pharmacophoric elements derived from cross-combinations of the non-depolarizing agent, laudexium, and the well-known depolarizing agent, succinylcholine succimethonium. Ironically, laudexium itself was invented by a cross combination between the prototypical non depolarizing agent, D tubocurarine, and the depolarizing agent, decamethonium. In the 1950s and 1960s, the present day concept of a neuromuscular blocking agent with a rapid onset and an ultra short duration of action had not taken root. Researchers and clinicians were still on the quest for potent but non depolarizing replacements devoid of the histamine release and the dreaded recurrorizing. Effects seen with tubocurarine and, more importantly, the absence of a depolarizing mechanism of action is seen with succinylcholine and decamethonium. References Martinez E., Wooldridge A., Hartsfield S., Mealy K. 1998. 
Neuromuscular effects of doxycurium chloride in isoflurane anesthetized dogs. Vetzer, 27 279-83. doi, 10.1111 j.1532-950x.1998.tv OS 1927 x PMID 9605239